Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel again. Thank you for joining with us so far. In this video I will show you how to control the system. This is the plant and the subsystem what we have designed. You can place the input force as Newton by using the settings. We have to check whether this model is working or not. You can use a signal builder or some constant to check this. See the preview first. We haven't any external forces to the system yet. See if we give some force from outside. Before that I'm here changing the sampling rate to fixed step. After run with the external force you will be able to see that the cart is moving to right side. Now it is ok. We can try to stable the system by using control engineering methods. We want to make a close loop for this. So, this is the basic. If you want to control the system in a stable manner, in this case we can consider about the pendulum, you have to get the output result and have to compare with the previous result. That means we want the output angle to compare with the reference point. Here we can use gains to control the signals. We are taking angle error theta as error with the reference point. This is like a P controller. By adjusting this also you can have a stable point. But it is very difficult to do that. You can try with some gains. P controller gains have sometimes bigger values than other controllers. But it is not true for everywhere.
you can try with more. Let's consider other controllers. By taking the derivative of the angle we can get the angular velocity. And also doing that again you will be end up with taking angular acceleration too. These are the other controllers to the system. Angular velocity is taken as the I controller and acceleration as the D controller. In here I tried but not end up with a good result. You can use a summing point to add those errors to the system and take the input force. I was not able to stable the system by changing the values. Later I understood that this plant can be stable to some negative PID values. Here I used only positive values. Other than this method we have in build PID controllers in Simulink. And also a tuner. In next video I will show how to control the system by using PID controller. This is the end of the video. You can make comments on me. Hope you will all subscribe the channel and keep touching with me. Send me your problems to the below links. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon on the next video.